Attack has seen massive growth in the past few years and the primary reason for that growth is holistic learning approach. Yes, this is the key feature that has given Attack a major push over the traditional education system and the Attack companies have skyrocketed their growth. But in this post COVID era, the things has changed drastically. Now the, the competition is fierce and the market wants constant improvement in the way you deliver your content and innovation in the learning experience. These are the two things if you lack, you are going to lose in the ad tech industry. And that's where this video comes in. This video is going to help you to understand the top trends in the ad tech industry for 2022 and 2023. So make sure you stick till the end to know all the trends and apply them to skyrocket your business. Believe me, you have put in a lot of effort. You will love the content. Let's jump right into it. So let's start with the first trend of the day. Immersive learning experience. As we discussed about holistic learning, all the overall learning experience of EdTech was the key feature that has given them an edge over traditional education system. It even gives you a better way to deliver your content and interact with your learners. The AR, VR or the virtual reality and the augmented reality tech has developed immensely over these few years and today it is at a position where incorporating this tag in your learning experience can give you a huge boost. AR VR is literally the future of how you are going to deliver the content to your audience or how you are going to interact with your learners. And this is very important that you jump on the trend right at the early age so you develop with the trend and know in and out of it and you don't feel left out when it is matured. The main effects of using AR VR tag in learning are Number one, it instantly releases a high volume of dopamine in your brain while you experience the AR VR tag because it activates your lot of senses which makes the learning content more engaging and aspirational. The next point which adds a lot of value to it, the experience you get through AR VR tech is stored into your pictorial memory and thus it is much easier to remember concept or understand it while you are experiencing it through an AR or VR tech. So these are the core features that makes AR VR very suitable for ad tech industry. Here is an example of how Oculus is created a hand physics lab where you can try a lot of concepts of physics through virtual reality. Let's see a small video snippet of how it works. Did you see the experience? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. If you want to take your content to the next level and make it more immersive for your students, make sure you try out a lot of AR VR tech that is available to incorporate in your EdTech products learning experiences. Now it's time for us to move into the second most important trend of the day that is it's all about gaming. Yes, gamification is by no means a new trend but it is a trend that has not stopped since the day it is adopted. And now with the advancement in technology infrastructure, gamification has seen a huge push. The main reason why EdTech industry is adopting gamification is the retention. Games are the most engaging form of e-learning product that you can provide and it is very engaging. And this is one of the key feature for EdTech growth. Here is an example of a startup which has used gamification at its best. This is synthesis.io and here is a demo for you. This startup has taken full advantage of gamification and this is why gamification is so important. Let's move to the third most important trend of the day that is flexibility all it demands. Yes, students no more want to be in that loop of going to school, school to home, home to tuition, doing some skill training and then again going to school. This loop is not for them anymore. 
दे आर नॉट इनक्लाइन टू गोइंग इन टू दैट बोरिंग लाइफ स्टाइल वेयर दे फील लाइक दे आर स्टक दे हैव नो कंट्रोल ओवर देयर लाइफ एंड देयर लाइफ इज जस्ट पासिंग अवे दे नीड मोर फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी इन देयर लर्निंग एनवायरमेंट एंड दैट्स वेयर फुल्ली फंक्शनल ऑनलाइन K12 स्कूल्स कम्स इन Yes this is another trend that has picked up in this recent few years since the covid era passed people are no longer interested in working from office similarly students don't want to go back to the traditional education where they feel stuck and that's where online schools comes in like k12.com and connectionsacademy.com let's see a small demo video to understand how the learning environment is so flexible and different in the online school in comparison to the traditional schools hi i'm liliana and i'm in 7th grade science you're able to do what interests you the most and you can make it as fun as you want me knowing my kids and how they are it was important for me that um they were challenged and online school gave me a chance and dad a chance to have control over what they were learning and how it's taught. So we decided to switch to online school because it was the best for him. He could take frequent breaks. It made me feel much better because in brick and mortar school, I usually stand up on my desk or and then going up and down, up and down, up and down. I always get in trouble for it. Online school helps the girls pursue what they want to do in their future. We have this new class of entrepreneurship. It helped me understand what i need to do as in advertising k12 is teaching my children to learn it makes a difference to me as you have seen in this demo video these are the key factors that adds up to the growth of online learning schools so make sure you take advantage of the trend and give flexibility to your students the fourth biggest trend of the day is focus on outcome today no one is interested how cool is your e-learning product but they are interested in what outcome that e-learning product can provide to the learner today the education has become more and more learner centric where it is more about what i can gain out of the knowledge you are sharing it is no more about you should learn a lot of stuff but now it is more about why should i learn this stuff and what is the implement of this stuff in my day to day life or in my career that's the most important trend that has picked up in this recent year here is an example of scaler which has seen massive growth by shifting their focus on the outcome rather than just giving them the knowledge your coffee sir thank you i'll see you around right. cheers hi Hi Arun. Hey Girish. First day, no? How is it going, man? Good, good. Just settling in. I still can't believe that I made it till here. All thanks to you, Arun. What thanks and all, man? You did it, buddy. Girish got placed at a global tech company thanks to his scaler mentor, who's also a professional who's been there and will help you get there. As you have seen in the demo, Scaler never talks about how much information they can give you, how much knowledge they are going to share, but instead they talk about how you can do better at your career by giving minimal to minimal time to Scaler and training with them. That's the important part of focusing on outcome and creating a learner-centric e-learning product. Let's move to the fifth and most important trend of 2022. that is community learning will dominate the market gone those old days where you put all the student together and make sure they learn the same thing despite of knowing that every person is different they might have different interests they might have different learning pace there are a whole lot of things that go on not every people are same and that's where community based learning excels a like minded community sit together learn and grow together and build things together that's where the glory of community based learning shows up here is an example of one of the startups of india which has leveraged community based learning at its best where they could have learned generic courses and could have taken advantage of a much greater market instead they choose niche courses like web 3.0 program growth hacking performance marketing which attracts a very niche audience but those audience are the best audience to build a community let's see a small demo of their latest e-learning program that they have launched 
that is web 3.0 program we are launching a web 3 program which will help you kick start your journey on web 3 in less than 6 weeks that is what we are launching right now a web 3 program which will help you to kick start for all the people who are interested to transition from web 2 to web 3 for people to who who have been like who have been like me who breaking their heads what is this web 3 what is it all about how can i get in all that stuff you're going to learn you guys are going to learn all of that in less than 6 weeks by this program of growth school which is the which is on web3 special thanks and special shout out to our partners chingari consul fund and tezos and a few more as well coming in uh, to make this happen if you guys are excited about this drop a boom in the comment box drop a boom in fact you know what drop a wag me in the comment box w a g m i drop it in the comment box special thanks to our partners but that's not the crazy part yes we are launching a 6 week uh, program on web3 what's great okay webers you guys at growth school have been launching some phenomenal programs brand marketing app growth tech prep so on and on and on great you're launching one more program why so much why so much of noise for a simple web3 program why is that even happening because the crazy part is still not revealed and the crazy part is top 1000 applications will get 100 percent scholarship yes everybody who will be part of this cohort will get 100 percent scholarship so this is how they have leveraged community based learning to grow their business at an exponential level and that's where the most important trends of 2022 and 2023 ends if you think we have missed any important trend make sure you comment down below and if you like the content please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more such content and if you want to build a great learning experience for your edtech business make sure you go to edisonos.com where you can get started for free with this we'll wrap the video today and soon we'll come back with the next video